Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable or disable end-to-end -end encryption inside a messenger. And this is really important. If you're running an online business and you use Facebook for business, you're probably gonna be sending personal information, perhaps financial information, between you and your leads or your clients at some point. And it's crucial that you make sure that those messages are completely secured. And that's where end-to-end -end encryption comes into play. Let's dive in. So using Facebook to get leads and communicate with your clients. And if that's the case, you understand that using Facebook Messenger in a secure way is extremely important. Either you or someone you know has certainly had your Facebook account hacked or someone tried to steal your data through Facebook. Maybe someone's impersonated you on Facebook. So you know that having the best security in place is crucial. And there's good news. Facebook has recently upped its security when it comes to Facebook Messenger, making sure that your communication with your leads and your clients is much more secure than it has been in the past. And here's what it's all about. End-to-end -end encryption helps protect your privacy by ensuring that no one sees messages except for you. So think of it as an extra layer of security that keeps your messages and calls with family and friends protected from the moment they leave your device to the moment they reach the receiver's devices. And we're gonna talk about how that's achieved in just a second. This means that nobody else can see or listen to what's sent or said not even meta. And let's go over to Messenger so that I can show you an example of what end-to-end -end encryption actually looks like inside your messages. So here's a message here, and you'll notice that right under Lucy's name here, it says end-to-end -end encrypted. And that means that end-to-end -end encryption is on for this particular conversation. And like we just read about, nobody else will be able to access what's shared inside this conversation. And basically the way this works is when a message is sent from your device to another user, it leaves your device with a lock on it, an encryption key. And the receiver of that message, their device, is the only device that has the specific key that unlocks that message. And when you're chatting in an encrypted message inside Messenger, you'll see this over here. It says verify end to end encryption. And this will show a list of the keys between you and the recipient that allow your conversation to be unlocked just for the two of you. So why is it important for you to be using end to end encryption for your messages? Well, here's what Meta tells us. Meta says, so whether you're sharing family photos or your personal finances, end to end encryption allows all of your information to be shared securely and privately, like we just talked about. But here are a couple practical examples that are specific for online business owners who use Facebook and use Messenger to communicate with leads and clients. Imagine you're on a sales call and you close a very specific deal on that sales call and you need to take payment. Well, imagine again that the specific service that you're providing to that new client isn't something you have a payment page set up for. You're doing something specific for that client, which means that the payment terms are unique for them. You might wanna take their payment information and enter it manually into your system so that you can deliver them this specific unique service. Well, in the past, if you're using Messenger to communicate with this lead and you don't have end-to-end -end encryption turned on, if that lead were to send, say, their credit card information via Messenger, it's not secure. There is potential that someone could hack into one of your accounts and then have access to that financial information. Or let me give you another example. Imagine you have a client who signed up for your coaching program and they're paying you in installments. Let's say they're paying you $1,000 a month, but the credit card they use to sign up for that installment payment plan has expired and therefore they need to give you new credit card information. Again, with old Messenger, you probably wouldn't want to accept that credit card information knowing that there is a chance that someone could steal that information. But with end-to-end -end encryption, it makes that transfer for a financial information much more secure. And speaking of sales calls and making more sales, if you'd like to make more sales through Facebook, I've got a very specific process that works inside Facebook Messenger that allows you to book sales calls with new or old leads within six minutes or less. It works very, very well. It's simple to use. I'll put a link in the description so you can download the entire process and start booking a whole lot more sales calls right away. Well, you probably notice if you go into Facebook Messenger right now that some of your chats aren't encrypted. And maybe you're asking, well, how can I turn encryption on? And Meta's told us that at some point, all chats are by default going to be encrypted. And right now for most users, the best way to do this is via mobile. So I'm gonna do this over on mobile. And so here I am in one of my chats on my mobile device. And what you wanna do is you wanna go click on the person's name. And that's gonna take you over a screen that looks something like this. And you'll be able to see right here, like we looked at before, whether or not the chat that you're in is already end-to-end -end encrypted. And you can see in this case, it is. And so that lets me know that I can send personal information or financial information and it will be secure inside this chat. However, if this notification right here, end-to-end -end encrypted, does not show up inside your chat, here's how you can turn it on. You wanna scroll down through the menu here and you're looking for this, go to secret conversation. And you want to click on this button and that's going to allow you to open up a secret conversation, which just simply means an encrypted conversation. And once you've done that, you're going to notice something interesting. You're going to notice that in Messenger, you actually now have two conversations going on with the same person. I'm going to show you an example over here. So this example here, you can see that I'm chatting with Lucy and we go over here and take a look under her name 
it doesn't say end to end encrypted. So this is an old conversation. This is a regular messenger conversation that is not protected. And in this case, I wouldn't want to send anything too personal or definitely no financial information via this chat. However, when we take a look over here, you'll see that there's a second conversation also with Lucy. Let's click on that. And you'll see that this one is end to end encrypted because I did the exact process I just showed you. I opened up that secret chat, started a secondary conversation with Lucy, and now this one's a secure one that I could use for transferring, for example, financial information like we talked about earlier. So you'll notice that you're not actually taking an existing conversation and adding encryption to it. Facebook says that's going to happen by default at some point, but right now we have the ability to start a secondary conversation that is end to end encrypted. Now, if you wanna disable end to end encryption, you can't actually do it inside a message that's already encrypted. So again, over here, this message conversation here with Lucy is already encrypted. I can't turn it off, but what I can do is use the unencrypted message thread to continue a conversation if I don't want encryption for some reason. And if that is the case, or perhaps you only want to use encrypted messaging with a particular person, then what you might want to do is go over here and select the message that you no longer want to use. And so for this case, let's say that I don't want to use encryption anymore. What I can do is click on the three dots here and I can actually delete this chat. It's gonna make sure that I actually wanna delete it. I'm gonna say yes, go ahead and delete it. And now you'll see that there's only one conversation left between Lucy and I, and it's the original one. It's our old one that's not encrypted. So while you can't enable or disenable encryption on a particular chat, if you have an encrypted chat and an unencrypted chat, you can choose which one of those you wanna continue and you could go ahead and delete the other so there's only one conversation left. So there's really two big takeaways for you here. If you're using Messenger for business, you wanna make sure that any personal information, any financial information, you're communicating with clients or with leads needs to go through an encrypted chat. That's number one. And number two, Meta's told us that all chats are going to become encrypted at some point, but in the meantime, you have the power to initiate an encrypted chat so you can make sure that that communication is secure. And personally, I do use end-to-end -end encryption for my communication with my clients and my leads, but I also have a secret weapon that allows me to get way more leads and start way more of these sales conversations. And that secret weapon is Unipro. Unipro is a tool that goes out onto Facebook. It finds your ideal leads. It brings those leads over into your audience. It strikes up conversations with those leads, it nurtures your leads, it makes sure that they see your content and it moves those leads towards making a purchase from you. So if you use Facebook to grow your business, you gotta check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. I know you're gonna love it. So that's what I've got for you in this video all about end-to-end -end encryption inside of Messenger. If this was helpful, give this video a like. And if you have any questions about Messenger end-to-end -end encryption, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. I'm happy to help out. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see it in the next video.